a little uh, Chris, uh, Chris and Drew, they've been up in New York City, and now they're back. And it's good to talk to every one of you. You've got about seven hours before you get ripped to this video. I shot seven hours while they were gone out having fun. We were talking video, weren't we? So you've got that. Chris has got that going up. So you'll see that before you get to this one. And I was um, wanted to go over question and answers. I thought I was going to catch up, but this and that happened through the weekend. And I just, oh, so I only got seven hours for you. But um, I got a lot since Chris has been gone, a lot of questions. So I'm going to try to go over those. And then I still got a lot of you guys. So, oh, I just, uh, I need to do this full time almost. Oh, my God. So this is from uh, Stacy. I like how you spell it, Stacy. And ask me about uh, Ehlers or E H L E R S, uh, uh, Danos, D A N I O S, <clears throat> L O S. It's a connective tissue syndrome, and it's where they feel that uh, uh, your collagen isn't um, uh, making your connective tissue strong enough. I'll say this, I, I really don't know if the parathyroid hormone, how it affects collagen or the pituitary. I would say that I, there's no question in any connective tissue weakness, you have to hit the parathyroid gland. That is essential, that your thyroid and your thyroid, so parathyroid and thyroid, you got two hormones to look at, calcitonin and parathormone, you want both of those up there, and parathyroid gland. So look at that. I look and they see if you have any other connection to pituitary there. Height, menses, things like this, or pull your eyes and take a look. But uh, I would definitely work on the endocrine glands because that's the only connection to that would be plausible. The other thing to that, though, I'll say is proper digestion and absorption of nutrients and making sure you're on the raw foods. Because if you want to tone and get your connective tissue strengthening uh, all your body, including skin and everywhere else, you've got to get your parathyroid up. And that's also the gland of uh, depression, uh, bruising easy, skeletal of all types, you know, big, big deal. Uh, so make sure your basal temperatures are up there in the upper 97s at least. Go after that parathyroid with a parathyroid glandular, I would. I'd probably do a couple bottles of parathyroid, if not three, with a bones formula particularly our bones formula, or you could do the, uh, the um, superfood blend, extremely high in calcium, uh, especially number two. Uh, use something like that with a parathyroid gland. At the same time, remember all your stats, even if they claim genetics and this crap, all your stats are influenced totally and are a reflection totally of chemistry at this level. Now, we can argue, get into magnetics and electronics. Yes, 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 that's obvious. But that's at another level of thinking. But at the, at the very mundane level, we're at chemistry. And to look at chemistry, you have to start ingesting proper chemistry. You've got to stop ingesting proteins and things that make the body acidic. And it's just that man has to learn that proteins are bad. And if there was anything bad for connective tissue, it's going to be protein. Uh, any high phosphorus, and I thought it was interesting for those that love blue green algae. Right now, you can get a really good price on some high quality blue green algae. Yeah, I think Toledo, Ohio, has a lot to sell you right now, and uh, they probably give it cheap right now just to get rid of it. But there's a blue green algae. Remember, toxins from algae not real good. Right? They shut down all water supplies because of the toxins from algae. But we love blue-green algae, or do we? Is it just sold to us as a sales pitch? You know, you got to look at all these single-celled organisms and things like that. And that's why I don't recommend algae, uh, corellas, or spirulinas, or any of that. It's, it's okay for the proper people that eat them, but homo sapiens don't have to consume them for health at all. I thought you guys would get a kick out of that one because... Blue green algae on sale, ladies and gentlemen. Step right up. The uh, state of Ohio would love to give you a whole bunch of it. Stagnation, fungus, fermentation. Take a look at all that. Does all that sound healthy? No. Now, this is Lori. 
Uh, Dr. Morris, I would believe in it if you would review my sister's case. All right, this is a lady's sister. Let me see. My sister was a very happy, healthy, vibrant 61-year-old woman. Wow. She was never ill throughout most of her life. You know, and you can see that. People have asked me about that before, and you can see people that went through life pretty good. They don't always tell you all their little ups and downs and quirks, but you know, go along and then wham! Suddenly they got pancreatic cancer. Suddenly they got liver cancer. Suddenly, this isn't suddenly. Everything builds. But a lot of this builds in silence to where you don't, you have a little ache, a little pain, you don't think much about it. You know, and it builds and it builds. And then one day, just some trigger, doesn't matter what it is, some stressful situation that shut your adrenals down for a minute or whatever, some situation or something, you left, a, you know, maybe your, your, your love of your life left or died or whatever, and bam! And then suddenly you start seeing problems all over. And it's just that, don't make no mistake, you eat bad, you pay the price. You, you don't eat the food your body's designed to eat, you're going to pay the price, one day or another. One day or another. The only serious condition she did have was pneumonia, okay, about four to five times. Four to five times. You know, that already tells you immediately her lungs and bronchi was full of mucus. No one let her clean out her lungs, so she always sees she had pneumonia four or five times. One good pneumonia case, we can clean you all up and you're done. But because medical suppresses and treats it as if it is uh, pneumococcus, uh, including when she was a child. This, the last incident of pneumonia was about two years ago. In all cases, she was given, an, of course, uh, antibiotics which seemed to clear up the problem. No. And, and I'm glad you used the word, because you, you're using some good words. It seemed to clear up the problem. Well, what it did was suppress the lymph system. We were just talking about a case of high sulfur and how it suppressed this person's lymph system. And so they had a lot of lymphatic problems from the suppression of sulfur. And now they have them on morphine sulfate. Of course, this is a tough case, of course, you get that. And uh, oh my God, <laughs> one thing after another here. Anyway, up until about 18 months ago, she had a bit of a weight problem. So immediately you know adrenals and kidneys. I mean, you see that with everybody, but immediately adrenals and kidneys do too many dairy growing up, the lungs are full of mucus, bronchi, probably the sinuses kaput. So in the head is probably backed up as well. But it was not as severe as many weight issues we see these days. Well, <laughs> she needed to lose about 35 pounds. Well, that's not bad. She worked hard at it, switched over to a mainly raw, uh, vegan raw diet, upped her intake of fruits and veggies, drastically smart, well that's good, uh, exercised and succeeded in losing all the weight over the course of about nine months. You could lose 35 pounds in about two months on raw if you do it right. Just when she was feeling at her best and most fit, she started experiencing pain in her face. Uh-oh. Pain in the face. That's not good. Uh, jaw and ear. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Second uh, C-spine, second vertebrae. Uh, I hope this isn't what I think it is. The ear problem was thought to be a lack of drainage, and she had tubes. <sighs> she had, well, it could be your ears, so let's just stick tubes in them. How about just using some ear candles and cleaning them out for her? You put tubes in her ears. Uh, and what kind of pressure would that be then? Wouldn't be blood pressure, would it? Mm -mm. It'd be what? Lymphatic pressure. That's not good. Here, what's coming? I think I see what's coming here. Uh, however, the pain kept increasing. This is not good. She seemed fullness in her right ear and the right side of her face. Over the period of about two weeks, she lost complete hearing on the right ear. You can get that back. You get a drain, you can get that hearing back. Then she started getting a cough that would not go away. Uh-oh. Uh, with stabbing pain when she was inhaling. Well, because she never cured her pneumonia, did she? She never cured what they called pneumonia, did she? No. And so what she did was go to a medical doctor that doesn't know anything about curing anything, but they know how to treat real well. And this is what happens. Her primary care physician suggested a CAT scan to find out what was going on, I bet, in her lungs. Uh, how about her face, Betty? Uh, suspecting a reoccurrence of pneumonia. Oh, really? This is a lot more serious than that. Uh, just in just what you told me right off. 
Um, the scan revealed two large masses in one of her lungs and a smaller mass in the other. At that point, she was told that it looked like lung cancer and was admitted to oncology floor of the hospital. Yep, this isn't getting any better. The masses grew rapidly, doubling in size over a period of three days. Uh, guess what's not, what is she not doing and where was the clue? Overweight. Something as simple as being overweight and having a hard time getting that off? Take a look at kidneys and adrenals always. But nobody knew what was going on. The pain in her face became excruciating and she needed pain meds just to be able to speak. Yeah, I mean, you've got, she's got to have her C-spine checked. Um, uh, you know, I haven't had a case in a while of that but extreme facial pain. Uh, oh, what, oh, man, I got, I got a brain fart, but um, real painful. Oh, I've had several cases of those, real painful. Uh, one one uh, famous chiropractor suggested it was hooked to the second vertebrae, but it is, a, uh, uh, it'll come to me here, but uh, big time pain. Um, anyway, uh, the pain in her face, okay, excuse me, she was very distraught, no kidding, poor thing. After many tests, including a lung and ear biopsy, it was revealed that these masses in her lungs and ears were uh, granulomas. She was diagnosed with with what doctors referred to as a rare autoimmune illness that they called it Wegener's granulomatosis. Uh, I mean, it did. Uh, immediately, she was put on 60 milligrams of prednisone a day. Okay, so down the road to Hellville, they're taking your sister, sweetheart. This was about a month and a half ago. Then she started taking methotrexate once a week. The pain and flare ups continued. She went to John Hopkins, and the doctors then recommended cytotoxin, a chemotherapy. She now takes the steroids and the methotrexate and the cyto cytoxin. You know what's funny? They call it cytoxin. I have to tell you, honey, your sister has to turn her whole consciousness around because she's going real quick down to Hellville, and what once appeared healthy is now going to Hellville. Uh, your sister will be lucky to come out of this one if you don't get her to on the right path because there's there's nothing they can do, and their treatment-based thinking here is just, just, just like before. Where they should have cured this simple case of pneumonia a long time ago, she would have not had the masses. They didn't know how. So she has an autoimmune problem now. Her own body, it's her fault, her immune system's fault. Holy God. You've got to get her off. And, and there, here's the big issue here. The steroids are going to shut what down? Her adrenal glands even more. And they control the kidneys and a bunch of other stuff, right? Her, her autonomic uh, nervous systems and stuff. So she's, you know, and they're going to shut down her adrenals more, which means more lymphatic problems, not less, more. And means masses are going to grow, nowhere to go. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, after a few weeks, she the pain started to subside, and my sister believes it is the steroids that are helping her. Uh, she is beginning to develop moon face. Yep. Uh, typical on steroids, and the doctor says she needs to remain on the cytoxin for three to six months, and then they will evaluate her progress. Well, let me say this. There's no progress to chemotherapy. No progress to chemotherapy when you got masses. How does acids dissolve big masses of mucus? Matter of fact, they're trying to break down the mucus so they can get to the cell because the mucus is around the cell trying to protect it. And of course, you know, all you get is damaged cells by all of this. Horrible case here. I'm worried, honey. Let me worry you a lot. This is a, your sister's in trouble, big trouble. And I would worry. What are these drugs going to do to my beautiful sister? They're not going to make her beautiful anymore, honey. You've got to get her out of there and have her review some of these videos and get her act together or you're not going to have a sister. And it's not me being mean. It's me being factual. Only 6% of the people that go on chemotherapy survive it. And uh, 6%. And uh, that's not looking too good. 
You know, sometimes if you've got a TV in those cancer centers, uh, treatment centers of America, they have a little graph there. Stop that and read the graph for what it is, the years and the percentages, and you'll see it runs, after the second year, it runs right in line with chemotherapy. Or, uh, you know, even though they have nature pass on board and all kinds of things like that. Right, right. Uh, can her adrenals start up again if she gets off the steroids? I mean, she's got serious lymphatic problems. Why the ear pressure? Why all that, right? This is all lymph. What are masses? What symptom? The lymph system. So she's got heavy lymphatic problems. She hasn't been filtering her kidneys for years. And the, the pneumonia is a time to take advantage of that and clean out the lungs and stuff. But they don't know how to do it. They just suppress with antibiotics. So she's got a lot to clean out here. And there's no way they're going to let her clean out. Because every time she starts to clean, they're going to give her more antibiotics to stop it. Because they see detoxification as a as a as a problem or something, they they don't get it, and that does nothing but kill lots and lots and lots of people. Might be their agenda in an unconscious way. Who knows? Don't they work for the IMF, the World Bank? Uh, maybe they haven't been told who they work for. Uh, will she ever get rid of toxins in her body? Not the road she's walking. If Lori, if you can get her, the only the only hope she has is to detox. Does it make sense? Why? Because how do you get masses out? You clean them out. They'll come out just like you're forming them. But if she doesn't get on the road to do that, then there is getting no no better. All they're doing is suppressing her adrenal function. All they're doing is trying to throw anti-inflammatories in there. Well, guess what? All fruits, all berries, all melons, all salads are anti-inflammatories. Most of the herbs are anti-inflammatories. You can't use anti-inflammatories. You can use anti-inflammatories that are not suppressive like steroids to the adrenals. But taking pregnisone, she'll lose her adrenals. And when she stops it, she'll explode. Because it holds all this mucus and stuff in the body. No, she's going down the road to I'm going to kill myself allopathically road. No offense. But uh, people got to wake up sooner than later here. Because you have a beautiful sister, I take it, and you love her. And uh, she is now locked in a treatment of hell. Uh, there is no coming out of these things for people like that. Especially, and she's got it up in the head area in here, and then she can form a mass in the head real easy. Sounds like she's on her way to do that. And it's just improper lymphatic drainage. This is all mucus and lymph. All acidosis, big time. That's why the pain. But... Um, this is only one way for your sister to win this, honey. Only one way. There's only one true walk to Wellville. There's a lot of roads that lead partly to it, but the real road to Wellville for the Homo sapien. And look what we do with all the animals. Pretty good, don't we? So it, it, it's a good walk to Wellville. But it's going to be some work on your sister, honey. I hate to tell you. I close by saying that I do believe that steroids help save her life. Um... You know what? If you'd have backed up and got her a lot earlier, I'm going to say no to that. What's happening now, everything is apparently, but not really. So what everything is doing, everything is being suppressed. And then it's hell to pay ten times worse, sweetheart. I'll say this. Your sister should have been on a detox on, the, on, on this last pneumonia. So she, sister needs to relearn what her problem is, really, and how you fix it. Because she hasn't got a lot of time with this growing like this and happening like this. Uh, the more you move all these acids out, the pain goes away. The pressure goes away. You've got to get her kidneys and adrenals online. It's all back to the kidneys and adrenals. That's why they're giving her steroids. But the problem is in her kidneys and her adrenals. Now the problem is all through her. You're just seeing it in a couple of places. But the problem is really systemic. That's a systemic flood she's having trouble with. And, uh, you know, it'll break her cells down. But now I just see no strategy in place to assure her long-term health. Lori, there is no long-term health, honey. You're, you're being a little, I don't know, hopeful in the wrong way. And I don't mean to be mean at all because I love everybody. But reality is reality. And uh, there is no getting your sister well allopathically. You've got to face that. She's got to face that. They're going to keep hitting her. Oh, we've got to hit her more. Oh, it, yeah, This is a, a story 
that uh, should be put out in pamphlets because it's the same old story, same old people with the same old I can't care nothing but let me wreck your sister before she passes. And she doesn't even have to pass. You can get her fixed up here. But she's got to clean all, get her kidneys functioning back. you got to get her adrenal function back. That's not how you get rid of pain. That's not how you get rid of pressure. Steroids will lead you down the road. Just get on the YouTube. I don't know if there's a lot of people that have had this. I'm trying to think of the, the other name. But anybody, there's a lot of you that had extreme pressure in the head, been on the steroids, and see no remedy. And it's the problem is, is this is lymph pressure. But it's an acid pressure. This is a serious case. And this case needs to wake up real quick. Or just give your sister all the love you can. You know, and just enjoy her time while she's here. And I hate to even talk like that. Makes me sick to my stomach. But uh, I'll help you if she's willing to help herself. But she's got to change her whole philosophy because she's buying into a modality that has no curative value for her whatsoever. You know, and that's not how you pull pressure out of there. And you just, you can't use steroids because it's almost like a balloon just getting tighter and tighter with too much air, too much air, too much air. Well, that's what they're doing to her, locking her, all this lymph and all this mucus and all these acids, they're locking it in her. Well, she's going to, she's going to pop, she's going she's gonna to explode, she's going to swell up. Now, I don't know if I can show you pictures. I've got a lot of pictures of what they do to people like that if you want to see them. But I don't think they would appreciate that on YouTube, but it's reality. It's truth. And truth sometimes is a hard nut to swallow, but you got to swallow it sometimes when you're, if you want to stay on the planet. There are certain laws or certain rules of health that you have to follow if you want to be healthy and enjoy Wellville while you're on this lovely rock spinning through space. And we man have broken all the rules. And now he's paying a horrible price, and now he's got to learn the rules. And, uh, I think we spelled them out pretty good on this site here. So, sweetheart, I'm 100% I'm behind you and your sister. But she's got to change her thinking because there's, if she's one of the 6%, she'll be lucky. But with what she's got, she's not one of the 6%, I'll tell you right now. Not with it building up in her head and the mm -mm, she's not one of the. So, please talk to her. Let her view these videos. And if you're her sister and you're viewing this video, honey, you got to change your, your, your outlook here. You're trusting the wrong group of people. There's no curative value allopathically. There never has been. And they don't claim there is. They just try to support you while you're still alive, which is crap because you have all this time to get this out of there. You got to change the way you think and look and understand and grow because you have to take your own health in your own hands right now. You can't trust anybody. You have to learn what all this, what's all that, what's a mass? Where did that come from? What system is it involved in? Where does all this mucus come from? Where's the pressure? What system did the pressure come in? Start learning a little bit about the body and how it works, and then you'll learn how that, what you have to do to fix this. Oh, not a good case, but my love goes to you guys. What's up, Dr. Moss? What's up, man? Who is this? Oh, they don't say. That's not good. Sal. Hey, man. Uh, thanks for all you do. Thank you, man. I recently found out I had a mutated gene called MTHFR C667T. Okay. I also found out my cholesterol is high as well as I am not overweight and eat a whole food. I, found, I also found out my cholesterol is high as well. I am not overweight and I eat whole food diet. Can these genetics be fixed and are they the cause of my cholesterol levels? Thanks in advance. Cal oh, Sal, you know what? When a medical doctor says your elevated cholesterol is a gene problem, I think he's been sucking on something in the back room that probably isn't good. <laughs> you know, remember this. Cholesterol is like steroids made from cholesterol. These are antacids anti-inflammatories. When you see your cholesterol going up, you can be on a total raw food diet, but you might not be filtering in the kidneys. So what system is backing up in you, even on a raw food diet? Because remember, vegetables do not detoxify. And most people on a raw food or vegan diet, they entertain other things. 
They're not 100% in that raw and that sort of thing. Even 100% raw food is going to have a lot of problems if they're not detoxifying. Detoxifying is a much higher level of fruits, berries, and melon consumption, and sometimes water fasting. You know, it is the old accepted way that nature has used for thousands of years, water fasting to help its creatures get well. We're trying to help people without that extreme. Although, you know, everyone should water fast once in a while just for the fun of it and enjoy the self-discipline that occurs from that. You know, building your self-discipline is a really good idea in a world like this one. And this lady's sister is going to have to build her self-discipline and she's going to have to count on herself. And this sometimes is a spiritual move for the people because they've trusted so much in communities like the allopathic community that if this is just hype stuff. I don't know why anybody trusted that community. Good surgeons, though. Great surgeons. There's good ERs around. Although, look at how they rip you off in the ER. I mean, these hospitals, there's many people need to go to jail and pay for some of these prices. They've ripped people off so bad that you go in for an hour, it's ten grand. So they're overcharging, they're raping people, and they're getting away with it, and nobody cares, I guess. But, you know, it is what it is. But I'll tell you this, this is all about acidosis, my friend, and you're not being able to get your lymph system filtering through your kidneys. The other side of this is, it's probably going to see a little low cortisol levels. I don't know if you have a little low blood sugar or low blood pressure. Now, low blood pressure would be the neurotransmitters, but low blood sugar would be the steroids cortisol. Now, oftentimes when the corticosteroids, particularly cortisol, is a little low, doesn't matter what your blood work shows, it never tells the truth with steroids anyway, you, uh, you, see that you see your cholesterol going up. So all this is saying is that you're too acidic, man, and you're not filtering through your kidneys, and you'll find that gene. So just hit it, my friend. You'll be okay. Detox yourself. Get yourself cleaned out there. Get your adrenals up because that's what's low. Get your adrenals up, get your kidneys filtering, pee in a jar and look at it, make sure you got sediment in there, and then uh, you know, keep honking on that lymph system and you'll be good to go. You know, and that cholesterol will come down and you'll be good and then you'll be wondering, Gene, Gene, mm -hmm. thanks for the question though, that's a good question. Uh, all right, uh, this is, let's see, I live in, oh wow, in Romania. Oh, got a lot of good Romanian friends. First of all, I would like to thank you for your wonderful book. Oh, thank you. Thank you for reading it. Yeah, a book that opened my eyes and helped me with my sick mother-in-law. Oh, man. And so I come to the reason I send you this message. She has leukemia, non-Hodgkin's. She already had four cure of cytostatic but in the same time, we put her on a diet and on natural treatment with plants, fruits, and vegetables. Until now, she tolerated pretty good the treatment, but she is becoming weaker. Well, there's no plant, in my opinion, or fruit, or vegetable, or berry that can sustain the acids of chemo. There's just none. Chemo is extreme in the destructive principle of life. Remember, it's got a similar pH as hydrochloric acid. And hydrochloric acid will literally chew up tissue. Now, we humans have a little lighter hydrochloric acid, more around two, where when you start getting in some of the carnivores, uh, the acid will literally break down bone. Ours, uh, you know, I don't know why, why the difference in pH is, but ours isn't that hot. But it then is quickly neutralized by bicarbonate, blah, 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 blah. So all I can say is that, yeah, leukemia is not a cancer. They like to lump it there. Leukemia is either your bone marrow breaking down or your spleen breaking down. Uh, leukemia is of the easier side to fix. Unless your bone marrow is broken down, you have low white blood cells, low platelets, you're going to be fighting to get your bone marrow built up in time. But you can, sustained by allopathic blood transfusions and platelet transfusions, you can come out of this. Not difficult. However, when you ingest chemo, you're living in a, you're living in a world far, far away trying to reach over to Wellville. 
and hoping that you get a little piece of it. Because chemo, there's no coming out of it. And I, I can't wait till the first oncologist start visiting some, are prosecuted for this. In any, uh, any civilized world, given an acid that is, remember the name of chemo is Drano in nursing. And I'm nursing around here and I have hundreds of nurse friends. We use the word Drano. So, there, you, you, in my opinion, as an individual that is faced with these problems, with the word cancer, even though leukemia is not a cancer, but when you're faced with these, you've got several choices that are on the table. And it, the problem is, if allopathic was honest, nine times out of ten, you would never pick that, that road of treatment. But they're not honest. And some of you medical doctors that watch this are. I know a lot of you personally, you're good guys. But if you're an oncologist giving chemo to people, I would get out pretty quick because the karma's got to flip back. You can't keep doing that to people. You can't keep giving them high acids like this. So your mom has got to pull herself, you got to decide which road she want to walk down because she's supporting herself halfway, but eventually it'll get her. You got to fix this, and you can't take these these acids to try to come out of an acid condition. They're they're just it just makes everything harder. And all this good work she's done on herself, she could be totally free of this if it wasn't. Because you have to realize chemo just exacerbates, doesn't fix, exacerbates the problem. Doesn't ever fix the problem, exacerbates the problem. You've got six percent of people walking around purportedly in remission or cancer-free if they cut it out. Six percent. So this is mother-in-law. And so I come to the reason I see this. She is looking at it until now. All right. Where is your clinic? When uh, can we schedule a consultation? How much do you estimate it would cost a full treatment in your clinic? Oh, wow. Well, you know what I would do is get a hold of Jen B, get an appointment, get a Skype appointment up because there's no way you I, I'm booked till November. But uh, I oversee this whole clinic. So uh, amongst a million of other things that I'm doing, I oversee the clinic. And uh, we will get her started immediately. Uh, we have a, a crew around here. We have Marcy, Jen B. These are all practitioners. They will get her started immediately. But you, you want to rethink. And the trouble with this is people wait till the last and then they grab. And it's like, no, rethink these now. Because your mom and all the good work, her mother-in-law, she could be free of this right now. But she's battling their treatment. And that's, that's the truth of it all. We battle their treatment. Whoa, what's this one? Hey, this is thanks for the letter, man. And listen, I'll help your mother-in-law in every way you know. We'll help her every way we can. She needs to view this video because you know when you when you're trying to be on the fence and take theirs and ours, you're straddling Bob wire. Mm -hmm. Bob wire. It, it don't feel too good to get cut. Liz, Doctor Morris, I'm suffering really bad right now. And I'm thinking if I could stop my fast or continue it. Oh, okay. Now, wait a minute. All right. She's on a fast. She's not feeling really good. For the past two days, I have been solely fasting on watermelon in juice or mono meal form, melons, and some mangoes. It's a mango season. Although, I was going to bring you some really huge mangoes I am chomping down on, but I didn't want you guys to get jealous or nothing, you know. These are Arcadia mangoes. Jensen used to fly in here to get them. We're the only place. Uh, okay, so although my joint pains have improved, my gums are swollen, red, loose, and bleeding. You know what, honey? Get some Hill all tea and make it into a tea and hold it in your mouth and you know, let it absorb into the gums and help that. Because in a healing crisis, now, listen to this one. Now, I've said this on other videos, but it's so far back, I'll, I'll go over it again. 
I had a case where it was a young female. She had cervical cancer at the age of 30. She had thyroid cancer, at the, had a hysterectomy, had a thyroid cancer at the age of 32, did a thyroidectomy, and came to me with pancreatic cancer at age 34. So by the age 34, she had four cancers. Her eyes, are, uh, uh, you know what kind of mess. And uh, so, you know, she, her pancreatic uh, cancer was a degenerative type. Her pancreas was literally falling apart. She ate an apple. She pooped an apple. Nothing literally digested in her anymore, and they only gave her a few months to live. So, how do you save someone like that? So, I put her on fruit juices. I didn't even worry with the pulp. I gave her no digestive enzymes. I, um, I put her on herbs. And uh, little at a time, little at a time, I'm working her. I'm working her. Remember, she can't digest anything, so I'm having her super chew, digest in her mouth. I'm working her, and I'm working her with the tinctures. Eleven months later, I saved her butt. Well, let me tell you, one day she came in, and she said, My God, I've got tumors popping out on my legs, and they said my cancer has spread all through me, and she was crying, and I said, they're full of crap. I said, those are just tumors. I said, uh, that's your lymph system. And so she had about 40 or 50 of them on both legs within the two weeks, and then another week or two, I pushed her right through that. Another week or two, they're all gone. So then she came in one day, and I said, how you doing, honey? And she said, well, I've been to the dentist. They had to pull a tooth. It was real loose. And she said, I have another one back here real loose, too, and he's going to pull that next week. I said, no, no. I said, that's detox. By the time the week was out, all her teeth were loose, and she had seven abscesses. And I kept pushing her, pushing her on the wall, pushing her through this. Two weeks later, all the gums are nice and clean, locked back down on the teeth, and off she was for another healing crisis. So all I can say is some healing crisis can be a real in your face like, wow, you know, serious stuff. So get that heal all tea and gargle or hold it in your mouth while you're watching TV. Get you a, a cup with the tea and a cup you can spit it in and let that absorb in the gums and pull those toxins out. When you're, when you're fasting like this and you're up there real high on the, on, on, on the road to Wellville, you can remember I told you the lady's fingernails came off, my first client I ever had back in 71 or 2, her fingernails were off. She went right to a yoga ashram from a New York City sausage street diet, and of course she went all fruit, all fasting, all, all meditative fingernails fell off. Those things that are weak, you're going to see go bye-bye or want to go bye-bye. So sometimes you have to go a little slower. So Liz, you might have to slow up a little bit, but you want to use that heal all tea or stomach tea, but the heal all is a little better for that because it has some plantain to pull and start getting this lymph moving. Make sure your kidneys are filtering. Go after this. Check your parathyroid. Make sure your fingernails are strong. If not, put yourself on a parathyroid uh, glandular with, say, the bones formula to start strengthening, but at the same time, you got to keep detoxing. And this is the negative side. I won't say negative side, but this is the crucial side of detoxification, exposing your weaknesses. Just like the lady didn't seem like there's anything wrong with her, so you're doing really well, and then suddenly, mass, mass, mass. Yeah, things build. Things build. Oh, here's this lady's eyes If you, for those iridologists that like to look at a mess. One eye. Two eye. Three cancers before she was 34. Cervical, thyroid, and then pancreatic. By the way, just for your information, there's her pancreas. And notice it's not in the place it should be. Yeah. So... We, 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 we go over her case in school with you guys because uh, to show you what some of the cases can end up, you know, happening. And it sounds like, Liz, you got a little bit of that going on where you're losing your teeth. All my teeth are very loose as well, and I'm very scared. My entire mouth is sore and in pain, and I don't know what to do. I don't want to go to the doctor. Okay, now, I'm going to see if, 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 if Chris can email you back with this. And uh, and I'll say the heal all tea mouthwash, all right? 
All right, so another thing you can do is you might want to uh, come off of the fast, but then you might not. I mean, here's the thing. You, you, at these points, this is where the art of detoxification comes in. Do you push her deeper or do you pull her back? Because if you, push her, if you pull her back, she's liable to stop right in the middle of this. And then what do you got? She can hang around for a long time. Now, she's going to use herbs to help pull these toxins out, to lock the gums back, all of this sort of thing. So that'll be helpful. So with, with cases in the past, I pushed them forward because I know that once they're through with this, the gums will lock back down. Everything's good. But it is a scary situation. No question about it, Liz. Uh, so you can pull back off the fast, get yourself more on a one salad a day with the rest fruits, or you can just stay, come off the water fast and do just pound the fruits and the berries and the melons. You might want to pop some coconut milk with it or juice and, uh, and do that sort of thing. But get that tea. That's the value of the herbs. And use that as a mouthwash and hold your mouth. Let it absorb into the gums and things like that. But that's important. I'll see if I can get Chris to email you or I tell you what, I'll get Jen B if, if she can pick that off of there and see if we can't tell you that quicker because he's got seven hours of videos to put up before he even gets to this one. Now, this is from Debbie. I'm a 51-year-old morbid obese woman. I have uh, Addison's disease, or at least Sayers. I have thyroid problems and have a uh, macro pituitary uh, 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 stamina. This sounds, well, you got a little like a cyst or tumor up there. This sounds bad, but I have this, this, this one came off so small, I have to squint to read it. This sounds uh, bad, but I have had two spinal surgeries. They used BMP, and now it is growing in my spinal column. I think that's meant to be column. Jesus criminy. Much pain and stress on the body. No kidding, sweetheart. Uh, help me get a better quality of life. Pain is running at, up, and I do not want to increase the pregnizone. So here's another case where they just throw them on pregnizone. Thanks for any help you can offer. So tired and even with BiPAP, I am wiped out. Uh, need energy to fight this battle. Thanks again, Debbie. Oh, Debbie. Oh, sweetheart. Listen, honey. Same thing. You got to work yourself off of pregnizone, and you can do that on a raw food diet because raw foods are anti inflammatory. Anything that's predominantly base is anti inflammatory. I don't know why I was just thinking of that. That blue green algae and how they were saying it was so high in phosphorus that it's become so toxic. I have to laugh at that. Protein. Protein. Forgive me, it just came to me. I don't know. Uh, Debbie, listen, honey. I don't know why the two spinal surgeries, but I can tell you your kidneys and adrenals are down. And my bet one of the surgeries is probably up and one lower, just as a guess, but maybe the same. I don't know what the hell you're talking about, BMP, and now it's growing in my spinal. I think you meant column or cord. I, I, it, it's spelled something. So I don't know. I, I'll tell you this. You've got to get your kidneys and adrenals filtering, get your adrenals up where you're producing your own steroids better. At the same time, you're starting to move the acids out of the body. That's really key here. Now, you know you're overweight because of if you're real obese, then you know you've got two things. You Just what you said, you've got thyroid and adrenals both on your place. Being really overweight, I don't know how you can do all raw. If you can do 80% raw, give yourself 20% cook, give yourself a baked sweet potato every Every once in a while, whatever you can do to hold your emotional component together here, sweetheart, while you're cleaning your body out, do that. Uh, but right now, with the, uh, with the pregnizone, they're going to make it very difficult for you to lose weight because they're locking all these acids in. So now you're going to hold more water. You're going to be more edemic. Kidneys are going to fail more. So then even more edema. Then you have to worry about pulmonary edema and congestive heart failure. So they've got you locked in a little bit of a uh, situation here you've got to back yourself out of. I don't know how long you've been on the pregnizone. You have to titrate if you've been on at any time, but you got to fix your thyroid and adrenals. Well, what brings glands down? Acids predominantly and mucus predominantly. 
That's all the lymph system. Always. So, and you got a little pituitary going on, a small little uh, pituitary stoma. So, you've got lymph everywhere. You got to back out. You got to back out of this. You got Addison's anyway, so you really got to fix your kidneys and adrenals and get this, get your body back in shape. If you're, when, when you're dealing with a real obese individual, as a rule, all raw, they want to, but all raw is hard on them. So if you can do, give yourself a little baked sweet potato or something like that, not a baked white, but a baked sweet potato and a few little things like that here and there to kind of buffer, give your emotions a little up. And then if you have to cheat once in a blue moon, definitely go after your fungus and your parasites because that's going to help you immensely with cravings. And things like this will help you out immensely. So if you can do 80% raw, even 50 would be great. But if you can get up there and do a little more, I get myself on an herbal program. If you can afford it, get into the kidneys, get into the adrenals. You'll get rid of that. Addison's and that, these things are easier to get rid of. You're getting the obesity, getting the getting all this lymph out of here. Now the pituitary that's going to be a little harder for you. But you've got to get yourself draining. A good cold and flu would do you really good. Uh, use anti-inflammatory foods and herbs instead of steroids because they're going to shut your adrenals down and you're not going to be a happy woman by any stretch of the imagination, because this is uh, serious. When they shut down your adrenals, that's why you see it in stress. Shut down your adrenals, you shut down your kidneys. Shut down your kidneys, you shut down your sewer system. You shut down your sewer system, now you get swelling, you get pain, you get acids building up, you get tumors, you get masses. See where I'm going? That's why you can't pick that form of treatment when you have a lymphatic problem they call cancer. You can't go that same route because now you've shut off all your avenues to Wellville, and now it's totally Hellville, but gets deeper into that world. And there's nothing, nothing fun about that, nothing good about that. There never has been and never will be. It's a morbid, uh, dark agey type of thinking, and no one is, cares. We've given, the humans have become so sick; they're apathetic about everything. Thank God there's all you guys. You guys are the light of the world. And don't, don't you ever forget that. You guys are so much the light of this world. And this world is in deep, deep trouble. But that's the way it was designed. You have to remember those things, you know. And detach yourself from that. But Debbie, uh, get on that diet. That's key. And if you can afford some herbs, call in here. Get started on our 14-week detox. You don't have to talk to anybody. There's a 14-week protocol there. That's good enough for you. Perfect for you. But you want to get uh, get going on this uh, fairly quick and get this out. I don't like anything you say here. And I don't like medical doctors messing with spinal columns. These guys are wacko. You don't mess with spinal columns. Ugh. So uh, also work those uh, neural lymphatic points down your spine, sweetheart. Get your kidneys filtering. Get these neural lymphatic points down your spine. Start draining upstairs here more. And uh, get yourself turned around here if you need to. Please contact us so we can help you. Oh, this is scoliosis. Never had a case of scoliosis. You couldn't straighten back up. Kayla. Hey, Kayla. I had a question about scoliosis and it's straightening through detoxification. Absolutely. I saw the video where you and your client, who was a paraplegic, oh man, wasn't that cool? He was a quad, not a para. He was a quad, C C4, C5 quad. Gave him a little of this at first, but then if you watch the video, this was uh, 11 months later, he was like this. Yeah, it was an incredible video. I don't know if you got all of that. Fox News filmed that, and I don't know how much uh, Fox News... Uh, you got that on Fox News. Someday we'll put all that stuff up that went on TV and everything just to show you the power of all that. Uh, and he had extreme scoliosis, extreme. And remember, he also had the fractured leg, the right fractured leg that was two inches shorter than the left. And in 11 months, it re-strengthened that leg right overnight. These things were done literally. It's almost like it reached a certain energetic level and then it just straightened itself back up. Amazing. But then we've seen this now over and over again at these higher levels of raw, the, the neatness of what the body's doing. And I feel sorry for the girl with all her teeth loose, but that's, these are some of the levels that are scary, but some of the levels that you can get into when you have heavy lymphatic problems in your gums. See, I've always had this what She has a lot of heavy lymphatics in my gums. Others have been able to regenerate teeth and everything else. And I'm sitting there going, what? 
you know, it's just that sort of thing. The limp system, a big deal. Uh, I was just wondering what specific protocol was used to help the skull. He was 100% raw. Now, I did have neighbors pumping green drinks with him, too. He did only fruits, berries, and melons, but he'd do occasional green drinks. The neighbor would make it for him. But I had him pumping all fruits, berries, and melons because I was working with him and at the same time as C2C3 Quad. No, she was C3C4, just under Christopher. So she was C3C4. He was a C4C5. I was working at two major quads at the same time and paying for all their stuff. It was, it was hard. But uh, they just, oh my God, they blew through the doors. I mean, she got all her feelings back. And this was a much higher, you know, higher quad than Roger. But I had her went after his parathyroid. At a certain time, and I knew I got him pretty detoxed, I used velvet antler and, and ginseng to strengthen cells. Because they're cellular proliferators. They strengthen cells. They're like major tonics. I used a lot of that. And for an example, our ultimate immune formula. There's a point when you detox and do that first and then go on the ultimate immune because they've got the antler and the ginseng. I've got herbs that strengthen cells in there. Uh, also, the gland tonic, an incredible strengthener of cells in the body. And it'll pull your spine. But you've got to get your kidneys filtering because notice your, your spine always pulls to the weaker side. And that weaker side is the kidney that's not filtering as well. So you're always going to get the twist and turn however the strong muscles are. So clean that lymph. Do those neural lymphatics down the back. As a rule, it takes about a year, you know, to, 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 for the spine to twist itself. But I've seen people twist right out of it. Same thing with fingers. Same things with feet. The body, <coughs> excuse me, will realign itself. But it takes a good year of 100% raw. Don't kid yourself. There's a big deal going 100% raw. I mean, just test this for yourself. Do one month 100% raw, and then just add one cooked meal a day in there and see the difference. Just one cooked meal a day and see the difference of where you were and where you are now. Just once. And I just, it's just right in your face, the powerful difference, especially you healers on Facebook. There's a, such a big level of 100% raw. But when you get these, you know, some of the stronger, scarier healing crises, you know, it's concernful. As a rule, you know that the diet is, is doing nothing but cleaning and empowering. So you know this is all her, her length and her weaknesses that are being exposed. That's just what detox does, is expose weaknesses. Medical doctors need to learn that. But that is good because it shows you where you have your weaknesses. If you didn't have iridology to confirm that, you wouldn't have a clue one because there's no scan in the allopathic community that shows the morphology of a cell, the strength of a cell. And you're not going to pull them out and give them to a pathologist. Uh, yeah, and you were right. Uh, aware of the parathyroid. So did you have him? I had parathyroid. I had him on everything. Not for the whole 10 months either. Now, I have to go look at his case and see what how much parathyroid. I don't overhit that gland, but you could hit it for two or three bottles for sure. Uh, cleaning the body cleans around the cells, allows the cells to dump their sewage better, empowers a higher energetic experience to the cell, increases the performance in consciousness, which creates new genes. Yes, you can totally turn around the morphology of cells. I mean, I've seen that in, in pap smears and how just a simple hill all tea has turned some gnarly uh, 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 cells uh, uh, into uh, healthy cells, you know. Um, let me see here. Yeah, it's simpler that the body gets cleaner and stronger. That's a big part of it, sweetheart. You hit it right on the head. That's the biggest part of it. But you got to have a good parathyroid gland, no question about that. So you want to take a look at that. Also make sure the pituitary is good and everything else. The scoliosis will start, will just correct itself, just, just like everything else, or correct itself. Because there's no way you're going to correct it. Chiropractic can help you, you know, with adjustments and working with, working with the kinesiology, working with the lymph down the back, and kind of helping to help pull that back. But... The body that can do it all. But with a little help from some friends, yeah. Uh, I have a double curved scoliosis and I'm all, almost on my third bottle of parathyroid. Oh, third. You know, that's enough. Stay. Oh, she's 100% fruit with lots of your herbal. Oh, that's what. That, just keep. Just relax and be patient. 
Relax and be patient because the body just has to clean itself and strengthen itself. You're doing good. I would end up in the third bottle of parathyroid. Watch your fingernails. Sometimes if you take too much of it, it goes the other way. So just watch that. Gauge your fingernails uh, and how strong they are, how brittle or weak, uh, ridges, uh, by that. Uh, and uh, But you're doing really well. Doing really well. I would stay there and just uh, let time be of uh, the essence there to, to take care of all that. Because clean and strengthen are the only two things we can do that leads to Wellville. And they're the only two sensible things. And we have plenty of tools to do those things. There's always a tool we could use to do this or that in some of these advanced cases. But I take it you guys will help us find them. Chad. Hello once again. Hello, Chad. Thank you for your deliverance of knowledge, experience. Every oh, thank you, my friend. I just I wish I had more of it for you, you know. And but we know enough. We know enough to get the bodies back in shape. We know enough to pull ninety nine percent of all the people that are suffering out of it. There's always going to be people that make wrong choices and things like that. But if the people that go our way, ninety nine percent of them are going to walk to Wellville and very happy about it. You're always going to have some tough cases, guys, that are just too tough to make. But It'll help him in the next life. Everything you're doing on everyone is never for naught. Because remember, these are souls going on past this life with experiences. So what they gain here is everything. So if you take a really bad case you couldn't save, the time you were with them will educate that soul for the next journey. So maybe that's all they needed or all they could handle. So we can't judge things like this. It's just it's out of our control in that way. Now, let me see. My question for you is this. All right, Chad, I would like to hear your opinion on the effectiveness levels of certain healing modalities that are not related to nutrition, if you would, because I know you're into a lot of spiritual things other than food. Feel free to either elaborate or answer in short. Ah, okay, Chad, let's take this. Let's take this on down the road. Hatha yoga. Just the asana postures aspect of yoga. Well, I don't care what aspect of yoga, really. It's just you have to get not get tied into this is the ultimate and that, you know, there's only this and because there's so many more worlds beyond that. But oh, I'm into half the yoga. No problem with that. Uh, chai Gung, Chi Gung, Chi Gung. If you get a good Chi Gung master... Pretty pretty powerful people. There's some real strong Shigong masters, but this is not Shigong. This is Chi Kung. So I'm not sure I know totally what that is. It's working with the Chi and the energy, or tai, like a Tai Chi, or working with that. I'm for any type of working with the Chi energy, that sort of thing. Self discipline, moving, quieting the mind, watching your moves. However, this is chanting, Om Ah and Hum. Well. I was talking about chanting on a video. You might not be, that might not be up yet, but there's two I favor. Uh, I favor the hue, H-U. Uh, it's the highest we, we can use here at this level to get into some of the higher worlds. Uh, the OM, of course, is well, well known and well used. So either OM, but I like the hue. Hue, it's higher, it's more powerful, and you're going to bring some powerful stuff to you. Uh, so, and it can be real powerful on you, but uh, yeah, I like chanting, but you know, this, these are just methods to increase your vibration and, and frequency. If you learn to stop thinking, you don't need to chant anything because you're automatically, you're in control of consciousness. You're conscious, and you don't need to do anything to become more conscious because except surrender more. There's no nothing to take. There's nothing to do. You know, you can sit. And, it's like Buddha. You know, you can sit for years under the tree and meditate, and suddenly you go, well, maybe I should get up and go have some fun. Because it's only me anyway. See what I mean? You can only get to yourself. And sometimes you need to do that. Sometimes you need to go into a house or go someplace, be alone, get to the self. But you have to also go with that with understanding that to get there, you have to quiet the mind. Don't use the mind to have an experience. Quiet the mind to be the experience. Big, it's a big difference. You know, you're not trying in meditation to, to go anywhere to have anything. I mean, there are out-of-body travels and you can play with that side of it. Okay. But if you want the ultimate God conscious experience, you can't be the traveler. You got to know who the traveler is. The travel is just going from one dimension to another, from one uh, made up uh, uh, dream to another, basically. But you, 
the reality of consciousness, of awareness. Hard to talk about that and define that because there's no real words to get there because you can only be it. And it's hard to define. You can use be here now. You can use uh, live in the present. Uh, you know, you can use all these little words that mean live in the moment to where there's no time associated. If you live in the now, the now is always the now. You know, they say time is only a, a sequence of nows. Acupuncture and acupressure. Like them both when needed, uh, you want to go to a good one though. Uh, but uh, I do like acupuncture and acupuncture. Uh, can be good in painful situations while you're fixing the problem. We've got some great acupuncturists who are detoxing people because they found out they needed to do that, and they now use both. So, yeah, I like that at all. Shamanism. I think you have to be careful about rituals. Myself, I'm not a ritualistic person. I love Native Americans. I love rituals. But your rituals can tie you and lock you to this world. Be real careful about rituals, belief systems, and things like this. Because you, as consciousness, you don't need anything to be who you are. You already are that. So you don't need anything to get there other than to learn how to quiet the mind. And the more rituals you take on, <coughs> you're already a divine being. So you don't have to try to be a divine being because you already are a divine being. Those that try generally get the ego up. So just relax. Just be. If you do anything, learn how to become the observer as opposed to the thinker. Become the knower. And the knower you already are. And it's just hard to explain that. Read, get books on J. Krishnamurti. It'll help you immensely with that. So you just have to be careful with those sort of things. You are your own power. And you don't need anybody else. You're your own power. Good masters, a good, true spiritual giant will show you the path. But they, they might walk with you and put a big arm around you. Of course, they might kick your ass, too. Had that happen. Oh, Jesus. Hindu breathing exercises, uh, the prana, yahama, whatever you call that. Yeah, I know. It's been so many years. Yogananda Fellowship, you know, the uh, Self-Realization Fellowship. They actually bought most of Dr. Jensen's uh, Health Valley Ranch and grew flowers on there. And I've always loved Yogananda. I thought he was just such a beautiful soul. And uh, Self-Realization Fellowship and stuff. Very rare of them. But the proper breathing... It's a good thing, and you have the rights. You have the there's all kinds of Tibetan rights. You've got, I've got all kinds of books about all kinds of rights, and the, the the basic one is seven rights that goes for robustness and stuff. But any practice to do with the law of attraction, interesting, interesting. Anything to do with the law of attraction? Well, you know, opposite is attract, unfortunately, in magnetism. <laughs> but it's always nice to have a like-minded woman or a man as, or a mate, whichever, whoever you are in that way, it doesn't matter. But it's nice to have a, a like-minded person to be around. So I don't know about uh, the law of attraction, because remember, you are the living, breathing presence of God. And if anything, people are attracted to you for that. But I don't know what to say about that, the law of attraction. Generally, you're attracted to that which you need to bring balance to yourself. So, you know, you can ride with that as long as you understand that when you enter an experience, keep yourself. Don't lose yourself. You'll breed attachment. If you lose yourself, you breed attachment. And then, you know, you go through the emotion. It just goes through that whole thing. And it depends where you are and what you want to achieve in this lifetime. I generally talk of, you know, I'm like health, you know, let's go to Wellville, let's go to God consciousness. But I really realize a lot of people are not into that sort of thinking. So to improve your way, though, in all ways, learn to get a hold of that mind and emotions. Learn not to want so much. Who cares? Everything will be made for you. If you don't care and you don't try to drive your car, God will drive it. And that's part of how you surrender and start letting go of this world. Then everything starts working to tie up your, your uh, loose ends. And then you're good. And you're free. And that's how I would approach that uh, in that way. I would use yoga, tai chi, qigong, uh, any chi work like this, uh, just to improve my ability to move it through me and to surrender to the allness of myself. 
because the allness of myself is the same thing as the allness of yourself is the same thing as the allness of all. No one's over another because we're all part of the all of the all. <laughs> if you got that one. <laughs> so thanks so much. Oh, beautiful questions, though, Chad. I love that. Absolutely interesting uh, that you asked me these questions. Uh, I, I don't chant too much because I, I, I'm trying to be it in every moment. And uh, it's just uh, you have to be the watcher of your consciousness to allow thoughts and emotions to creep in. But again, again, you go have fun and, and enjoy it, but at the same time, you're detached from the outcome. It's uh, going back to the movie Michael with John Travolta and how he came down to help the lady, but he was detached no matter if he blew up or <coughs> excuse me, imploded a bank or made love to a woman or fought a bull. It was just the thing, you know. I already know you're a big advocate of meditation, so I don't admit, didn't mention that. I'm an advocate of being it and living it, living being the living presence of it all, living in what you might call eternal meditation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for your time, Chad. Love you, man. Good work. All you guys, you guys are so great. You're just such a great bunch of people to work with. I, I just can't tell you. It's very... Um, fulfilling. I just wish I had time to get to all of you here. Um, but I, I will. I, I, I'll work it out. This is Gene. Hello, Dr. Morris. I have so much praise for uh, our Creator since we discovered your YouTube. Uh, yeah, I love God. And thank you so much for going about and healing us. Oh, you're welcome, my friend. Thanks for this question, too. And thanks for watching it. You guys are taking your time watching it. I'm proud to do them for you. Because you're, you're just as important as me and anyone else. And when you take your, your precious time to view and help yourself, I, I, I'm for sure going to follow up with that. You know, you guys are good. And that's what we need to do is help each other become good, good solid beings, you know. Uh, good, solid spiritual beings having a physical experience. <laughs> I have been struggling with three dying teeth in my mouth, two of which have since been removed. <laughs> so I take it we got one left. I would like to stop this poisoning that is supposed to be 30 times worse than mustard gas. Oh, my God. Holy crap, what is that neurotoxin? Damn straight. What is that? This has had a powerful negative effect on my thyroid. Oh, I bet. Oh, I bet. I have had such a reduced immune system that I have had colds and flus every week for over two years with headaches and sinus. Oh, shit. Well, you know... Gee, look how this is tied in. Now think for a minute. What's the tie-in to the sinus, the headaches, and the teeth? What's the tie there? Your lymph system, man. This is your lymph system. And you're backed up real big. So, you you know, this starts pressure, starts chewing on your gums, and then we have a few free, fruit and blame the fruit. Now, this is a big deal to you. You want to detox the head area, meaning this is also sitting on top of your GI tract. So you might want to get in and get the kidneys filtering, get your adrenals up, you know, get that lymph moving, get your sinus drained, get the bowels cleaned up, and get this lymph and this acid out of your head because it's chewing on more than your teeth. Uh... And, and it wasn't your immune system was so much down, it's what you got in you. See, you can't get a cold or flu if you're clean. You couldn't if you tried. I don't care. Cleanliness is the next to godliness, right? Meaning that if you have a clean sewer system, there's nothing else, there's no seat. You remember, it's the terrain or culturing medium that deals with virals and bacteriums and things like that. Not so much fungus fermentation, more bacterium. But then, you know, if you're not uh, digesting your foods properly, you're absorbing hap, y y y you're going to have fungus. And even in the body where carbon is, you could have fungus, you know that? I found a website, www.cancertutor.com, that had two articles linking cancer to the teeth, identified through the use of a thermography. Well, let me, let me back up from there. There's, cancer isn't caused by bad teeth. Although the same reason that causes cancer causes bad teeth. Get the difference? See what I'm saying? They're trying to get you to think that they're trying to blame you or your body for the problem instead of your, your, your hand-to-mouth thing, you know, and your lifestyle. 
and your and your genetics and what's going on inside of you and the acidosis and stuff like that. So you see how they correlate? And so you're going to see sites like that blaming things, but the reality is you have bad teeth because of the same reason you have the cancer. It's the same system. It's the same acidosis. So it's the same system that you got to deal with. Not that your teeth cause that at all. You don't have to worry about that. But you have to worry that this system that you have down, Gene, is systemic. It runs through your brain. It runs through your heart and your lungs. It runs through your testicles and your feet. So this same system is everywhere through you. And that's why you see multiple problems popping its little head up. Since I first discovered these articles, the website has removed the information. Interesting. Likely pressure to remove by the powers of the yes, yes, yes. Oh, I don't mind saying it. You know, the trilaterals, the IMF, the uh, World Bank, they're all the same bunch of crazies who are so egotistical. Thousands of people are dying at their hands. Uh, you know, at one level, of course, every, you're, you're away from all that. Now, you're, you're, you're pure consciousness. But when you have bodies stuck in these places, they're stuck in a, a need to have karmetic or the need to have positive and negative interchanges. So for those that play these games, they pay stiff prices. And some of these guys, I've been to prisons in the astral world that, uh, quite frankly, uh, scared me to my core. So uh, it's not worth being bad or hurting others or being powerful over others for what karmic kickbacks can happen. Just not worth it. Uh, worth it to give love and uh, beauty and things like that. I would like to have a direct application to stop and reverse these dying teeth. You, you can't stop them until you move the lymph. Till you get your gums cleaned up with lymph. You can use your heal all tea in your mouth. Guard, hold it in your mouth. You know, not to clean your gums and draw and pull. So while you're watching TV, make yourself some tea and hold it in your mouth. You know, things like that. But you got to get inside and detox it. And that means get your kidneys filtering. Make sure you're filtering. means you got to get your adrenals up. That'll turn on the kidneys. You'll start fixing and cleaning everything. Your teeth will come clean if you can save them this late, you know, and get that done. If you have good genes, possible to rebuild some teeth here. But you want to get onto that. Make sure the parathyroid up. That's obvious. You guys really get it. I love you guys. But, but why do these glands go down? Lymph, lymph, lymph. This is the way we go to Lymphville. <laughs> and nobody wants to go to Lymphville because Lymphville's Hellville. Just with another name. Uh, but get your lymph moving. Get your, get your body filtering, my friend. You've got to do that. And get this all clean. You need to get your sinuses cleaned up because your body's telling you, I'm full, I got a drain. No mucus, no drain. And since you've had them, it's not your immune system that's having a problem. It's your lymph system, which is your immune system, by the way, is <laughs> having a problem. Y'all say what I mean. I have time for one more. Oh, this is Gwen. Greetings, Dr. M. I'm deep into the protocol at about 90% fruit. Well, that's good. And 90% of the time. Oh, that's really good. Uh, I've moved out a lot of sulfur. Uh, uh, thanks to your wonderful formulas. Oh, thanks. See the sulfur coming out? Isn't that nasty? All the people with all the sulfur. They don't know. Most people don't even know that. Thank God we know sulfur, we know the eyes. Uh, we even need to teach iridologists that orange is sulfur in the eyes. I recently began another round of Parasite M. About 18 days into it now, I noticed a huge expression of the sulfur through the pores of my feet. Wow, 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 this is good. Mostly along the arch and inside ankle and some on the outer edge also. Ooh, this is really good. This is the third or fourth time I've seen this kind of expression, but now with the Paris, not with the Paris. Yeah, well, you know why I'm a lover of herbs? Because you don't know what they're all good for. We don't have a clue. Really, when I think about herbology in the years I've studied it, I've taught it for years, we don't know nothing. These herbs are so powerful. These herbs are so good. We don't even know really what all one herb is so good for. 
There's been no real, real good uh, uh, research with it. There's this uh, uh, PDR now, and I look at that and want to throw up from it. Now they have a PDR on botanicals, but look who's doing the research. You know, I, I don't want any research done by allopathics. Not on botanicals. No, we need herb schools and, and proper naturopathic physicians and biochemists to do research. Uh, exactly. Uh, but look at that. I have no clue. But I have to say, there's some herbs in there that are lymphatics. There's herbs in there pulling your, pulling your sulfur out. Boy, this is interesting. I'm going to have to give this a try. Because remember, I use parasite M for fungus, which is, which is, what shall we say? Shall we say that sulfur is like uh, uh, the biggest aphrodisiac to fungus there is? <laughs> you know? So it makes them want to go whoopee a lot. So, you know, parasite M does kill fungus, but at the same time, pulling, this is good stuff. I don't know, but I would keep working with that. You might have just discovered something really cool there that we didn't know. And if you did, we could use parasite M to help get rid of fungus, anything to help get rid of sulfur. You know, anything. You might have stumbled on something real important, Gwen. Good woman. You guys are good. But this is what's going to happen. This is just how, this is how good research is done, right on individuals. Because no one's getting hurt, they're getting well from it. But we get to see what all these different herbs do to you. So it's exciting to see because they're just, you know, you just fall in love with herbs. But if you're a God man or woman, you're going to fall in love with herbs. Anything that God makes, you know, I mean, it does do some negative things, but still. Well, I love you guys. Uh, I hate to hurry so much, but I've got so many questions here to answer, and I know some of you are waiting, and I apologize for running as fast as we can with these things. And, but uh, I do love each and every one of you. Thank you. Keep watching your dreams. This is where we have more fun. And then uh, keep up with that good raw, raw, raw. Don't be afraid to plow that field and dig in. If you have to pull back, pull back. Okay, nobody's over your head with a club, but keep working it. Because you will one day have complete remedy. And then at the same time, you'll have your spirituality. And it's so worth it no matter what. Happiness, joy, feeling good, top of the experience chain. So keep working on yourselves to the next video. May the blessings be. Bye-bye. And try a hue, a try an ohm, try chanting a word at night while you're totally relaxing and surrender to that. It'll take you on a journey. A fun journey.